I'm going to briefly describe how to use an interactive simulation that demonstrates the lever rule. And this is used to determine how much liquid and how much vapor is present when we have two phases. We're going to demonstrate on a pressure mole fraction diagram. And the, here's the link for the actual simulation. Let's look at a snapshot of the simulation so we can indicate that what we're interested in is the red dot corresponds to a pure liquid, saturated conditions, the blue, saturated vapor, and then a point in between corresponds to a mixture. And what the lever rule says is that the amount of liquid is proportional to this distance here, and the amount of vapor is proportional to this distance here. And then the amounts are shown on the right side bar graph as well as the mole fractions of the liquid and mole fraction of the vapor. Well, the lever rule, which if we label this the mole fraction B in the liquid, mole fraction B in the vapor, and the overall mole fraction, let's call that ZB, the lever rule says this distance ZB minus XB is proportional to the amount of vapor, and YB minus ZB over L proportional to amount of liquid. So that's the lever rule which we can rearrange. So I'm going to pause and just rearrange that. So I've rearranged this and then L plus V, the total amount that would be the feet if you like, or in this case we have one mole for the simulation, it says XB times the amount of liquid. So this would be the number of moles of B in the liquid phase and then YB times the moles of vapors, number of moles in the vapor phase for component B, and they should equal the number of moles in the feed, if you think of this mixture as a feed, times the mole fraction. So, so this is just a mass balance, and that's all the lever rule is, is just a mass balance to visually help determine how much liquid, how much vapor we have. So let's look at the simulation. So here we can move this dot around. We move it to the left, we have more liquid, less vapor. And so this distance between the blue and the purple, that's the amount that's proportional to the amount of liquid. Of course, we move it all the way over here, it's all liquid, all over here is all vapor. And so the lever rule helps you to visually, if you see a point that's closer to the liquid side, of course, there's more liquid and less vapor, and this distance is proportional to how much liquid.